Hello, this is Ian Finley from Research Triangle High School. This is again the second in the series of simple tutorials on how to use the HOG4 PC system. Um, we talked about patching in the last video, and so this is going to assume that you've got your instruments all patched. And here we've got uh, two Source 4s patched at 1 and 2, and uh, six 6 pars uh, patched at three, positions 3 to 8. So now how do we write cues with these? Well, there's a lot of ways. There's a command line down here. If you've worked on an ion board, you can use that. Um, there are lots of sliders that you can assign certain things to. There are palettes that you can use. Um, these are all very powerful and useful tools, and if you know how to use them, that's great. Um, I found, this is sort of the Photoshop problem, I found that they were tools that allowed me to do anything, but to get anything done often required uh, more skill than I had. So, But it turns out there's a much easier way. We're going to start by creating a queue list. And you come up here to the upper left-hand corner and click Queue List. And that's going to bring up the Queue List uh, menu. And each of the queue lists are recorded to one of these masters here in the down left. I just record all of them to Master 1. So... Let's do that queue list for master one. Now there's no cues in the queue list. So the fastest way to do this is to record a few empty cues. So you're just going to go here to record, the, button, the record button on the panel in the center, hit record, and then give it a number. I, I name mine uh, in by hundreds, so 101 would be the first cue, and <clears throat> then in the second scene it would be 201 and so forth. So I'm just going to record Q101 with nothing in it. So you, I hit record, type 101, hit enter. Now suddenly there's a Q101 there in the queue list. And I'm just going to record a few of these. So record 102, enter, and there it appears in the queue list. Record 103. And notice there's a few um, uh, specifications you can make on these. Again, if you're an advanced user, make by making... By all means, make use of those, but this is for the beginning user. Um, record 103. Let's record one more. Record, let's say, 104. Enter. And now we've got four cues. Of course, there's nothing in those cues right now. So what you're going to do, and typically, by the way, you want to have, certainly when you're running a show, but generally even when I'm building it, uh, you're going to want to have this follow cue uh, select it, because that means that the, the cursor will track through each of the cues. I'm going to close the fixture window that I had left open from last time. And here we are in Q101. You can select it there, or you can also go to the Go To key if you're going to a specific queue that you know. The Go To key down here in the center of the bottom panel, you can go Go To and then type 101 and hit Enter and that'll bring you there as well. And notice that that command shows up here in the command bar, um, which again, if you're used to working on an ion board, that can be particularly useful. Um, but I find that the command line interface on this is uh, a little clunky to use. So here we are in Q101. What's it look like? Well, there's a button here that says Q. You double click that, and it shows you everything that's in the queue. Now, right now, Nothing's in the queue. So the first queue you're, you're going to build, you're going to have to put the instruments into it. Um, so let's say uh, that we want uh, our two uh, uh, ellipsoidals, uh, the, the source fours, at 50%. So all you need to do is enter 1 and 2. And again, those are the numbers we assigned it, and it recognizes, see, as soon as we, I just hit 1, and then I hit 2, and it, it told me, oh, that's the source for LED luster 1, and that 2. Um, and you're going to hit at, let's put them just at full. Full, enter, and now you see um, those were showing up in the command line, and now they're here in the queue. And there they are under intensity at 100%, at full. Um, and let's go ahead and put the others in at full as well. So that is 3 through, and the through key is down here on, on the pad, through 8, that's my last 6 par, at full. Enter. And now we see, I'll, I'll make this bigger so you can see it, there are all of our lights 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, all of them at full. And I used the actual, I actually typed in the commands using the command bar to do that. Here's the thing. I was used to, when I used to program lights on an ion board, 
sitting in a darkened theater for hours programming my lighting cues with that command line. However, that will be the only time I use the command line for writing all the rest of the cues in the show. Because from now on, they will all be based on the cues that have already been written. So let me show you how that works. So right now, here we have this spreadsheet, and there's stuff in here on color, and we'll talk about that in a moment. But this first column is the most important, which is intensity. So our first Q, uh, Q101, is everything at full. Now you can name the cues. If you come over here to the Q list on the left, and I just double click here in the comment, let's say we'll say we'll call this full wash. Hit enter, and it and it uh, it goes straight in like that. Let's say the next thing we want to do is um, a, a blackout. So what you can do, here we are in Q101, it says right here in Q101, modify, oh, I should make a note of this. Uh, it says modified up here. That means it's not been updated. Update is very important because you're going to be changing things in this Q window. Um, so you're going to come down here to this button in the center that says update. Click update and then double click that Q button again to show us the queue, and here we are in Q101, everything's at full, um, just as we said. Um, and come over here to the, um, the queue list on the upper left. Let's say that we want Q102 to everything now at half. Um, you could either click on this, or you could click Go to 102, um, and then notice we're in 102, except we're not in 102 over here. Yeah, double click. There we are. There we are. Now we're in 102. And notice, this is where it's important. All of the lights are still at 100%, but notice that they're gray now. That means that they're tracking through their vol their value from the last queue. That means if I record it, uh, a given a light at a given intensity in one queue, it'll stay at that intensity till I tell it to change. It'll track through. That means I don't have to rec every single queue, if I want there to be a general amber wash on stage, I don't have to build that into every single queue. Um, it'll stay there until I tell it to go away. And the numbers are gray to let us know that it's getting it from the previous queue. But maybe I don't want it at 100%. Maybe I want everything in this one to be at 50%. So I can just select everything and then go to set down here and then 50 and enter and now everything's at 50 percent again you have to click update because it says modified up here so we know it's not been saved basically so you click update and there it's updated so let's clear all those those things out so let's go to go to q 101 double click the q button so we can see what's inside it and here we are Everything's 100%. That's our full wash. And I'm just going to click the Go button down here. When you're running a show, that's all you need to click is Go, and it'll just cycle through the cues. So I'll click Go. And that takes us to the next queue. Um, and, oh, I'm sorry. I should be, um, this should be tracking the, um, for some reason, this is, yeah, follow current. That's what, this button up here, this follow current, this is very important. I should have uh, mentioned that. This has to be clicked, and then whatever queue we're in over here, it shows up over there. So, here we are uh, in queue 101. I'm clicking go. That's taking us here in the queue list into queue 102. And notice, here we are in queue 102 over here as well at 50%. Really easy. Um, and let's just name this so we know it's 50%. Double click over here, half, enter. And notice the timing of this is here in the, in the fade or the delay. Um, so if we wanted this to be a slow fade to half, maybe we double click on this and we say, oh, well, let's take this at 15 seconds. S is for seconds, hit enter, and that'll take 15 seconds to go through. Um, and then let's go to the next queue. I'm just going to click Go here. And it'll take us to queue 103. And because it's following current, we're now in queue 103 here in the queue list. Um, but hmm, this is strange because there should be a 50% in all of these value boxes. Let's see where we are with that. There's 50%. And we set it there. So we should be able to, when we go to queue 103, 
those should all be at 50 percent I'm not sure why they're not showing up that way but let's say that we want to in this uh, instance we want our uh, source fours to be at 80 percent so you can just click set and then 80 enter and then we want these to drop out entirely. Of course, you can do it one at a time if you wanted. And set at zero, enter. You could even just, if you're just doing one, you could just double, double click in the box. And then zero, enter. Or you could select a number of them. Click set, zero, enter. And then update. And double click Q. So here we are in Q101, and we see everything's at full. And then go we go into Q102 and now everything's at 50 percent and you can see it's actually uh, counting down over here on the queue list because we said it was a 15 second queue and then go again and we go this is now 80 percent and this is zero percent um, so that is how to write queues um, how to um, uh, update them and then how to create the queue list so when you're creating a show you will typically just build a queue list of empty queues for a scene I typically will build out a, a whole scene of just empty queues I'll label them here in the comments so uh, take out um, six pars um, add color in six pars We'll talk about color in the next video and so I would just go through make a bunch of empty cues label them with what I wanted to have happen in them and then just go through cue by cue in this and make the changes right in the spreadsheet using the set key uh, and then the update function um, <clears throat> and that allows me because I can see what values every single instrument is in that allows me if I'm not working with too many instruments to do the programming at my house or in a coffee shop I don't need to be hooked up to the lights at all and then I can go in and hook the uh, the box up uh, the, the widget up to my computer and the lights and then go through it and when I see a given queue looks wrong then it's simple enough to oh here we are in let's say in Q 102 looks wrong I can go go 102 and here we are on 102, and I say, oh, um, the the uh, ellipsoidals are, are way, way too dark in this. I need more intensity. I just select them, go to set. Let's say I say, let's try 75%. Hit enter, update, double click on Q to bring that window back up, and it automatically updates it. Um, vastly simpler, and again, because it tracks through, you don't have to do this in every single uh, Q. What you set for a given instrument is going to be the same the next time you come to that Q until you change it again. So that is writing cues um, uh, and updating them. Um, we looked at intensity, which is the main thing you're going to be worried about. But in the next video, we're going to look at color in case you're using an LED light.